Hello and welcome to the Kimono Spark Highlight Show. In this week's edition, we'll recap the race card of Saturday, January 21. Nine races were on offer, including the ninth for the Allen E. Billy Williams Trophy, named in honor of the three-time champion trainer and Hall of Fame inductee who saddled 1,120 winners in his career. Let's start with race one. This was a four-year old and up optional claiming event over 1,500 meters. Ex-champion jockey Anthony Thomas was aboard as a 4-5 favorite stall-walking girl who was facing the starter for the first time, coming off the claim. Starter ready, they're off for the first of nine. Right with the mob, got a good start. Prince Dominic looks to have hit a speed bump and reverses quickly a long way at the back as they charge past the seven. Kunama now going for that lead as they make their way down the back stretch and approach the final six. Kunama out in front, setting the fractions, cruising along by a length and three quarters. Whatever race is up, joined by a ride with the mob who narrowly overtakes. There goes tall walking girl in the purple. Prince Dominic the Grey recovers quickly and goes rushing up to go after those leaders. My mum just in the orange sleeves races toward the back and last of all, it's Trulicity as they've slipped past the five and run to the half mile. About to exit that back stretch, and uh, Kunama and uh, Prince Dominic now going at it. There goes a ride with the mob sneaking up against the rail and getting a perfect run. Tall walking girl is close enough if good enough, and uh, these are the main four contenders. A break back to Samora Clark's. My mum just in the orange sleeves as they go flashing past the three whatever under a ride but still has a lot to do from there and Trulicity may be forgotten as they come flashing past the 516th. Prince Dominic out in front. Asked to close the gaps, tall walking girl. Ride with the mob is taking aim. Racing out wide, my mum just the rider becoming up. Busy man as they're into the lane and leave the quarter pole behind them. They charge up now and grabbing that lead it is my mum just who picks it up. Stall walking girl doesn't seem to have an answer nor Prince Dominic the rest all struggling in behind but it's all over it seems as they're inside the final furlong and it's my mum just and the informed Samantha Fletcher she has a look in her mirrors and keeps touching away with the right hand stick another look over her shoulder and it's all over my mum just will take the first ease down in the end by four or more the informed Samantha Fletcher pushed my mum just to an easy victory stopping the clock at one minute 40 seconds flat the day's second event was a maiden special weight event over 1,100 meters or five and a half furlongs. They're off and racing to kill a mockingbird as a spun around and will not race, but break to the field as they pass the five and it is Ridge Liner. Right there too, that's Ella Fortunata. Right against the rail, that's Smooth Aviator. Out wide and coming around, that's True Identity as they pass the four. Then comes Winskid. Backing out of it, that is Smooth Aviator. And left at the back of the field, Delilah. They come towards the three and it is Ridge Liner. Narrowly on that lead. Ella Fortunata right against the rail. Right behind them, that's True Identity. Coming on, that's Whiskid. Then comes the favorite Delilah and left at the back of the field that's Smooth Aviator. They're at the furlong and a half pole and it is Ridge Liner, Ella Fortunata. These are the two that's fighting for it. Also coming on that is Whiskid. Out wide the favorite begins to find a little footing. That's Delilah. They come to the furlong pole, passing the furlong pole and it is Ella Fortunata. Begins to get rid of these and Ella Fortunata Prince off to win the second easily under Awesome Anthony. Ella Fortunata beat Ridge Liner. Awesome Anthony Thomas redeems himself in the second event, gunning Al Fortunato to a nine-length win at the expense of 29 to 1 shot, Ridge Liner, and a 2 to 1 chance with Kid. To race the three now where the field was reduced to six after the withdrawal of Regal and Royal. The off-time favorite was Magical Mood at 4-5 with jockey Ramon Nape. They're ready, they're off. Almost perfect start, but magical mood and Zion a bit outsped in the earlies as Vanquisher charges into the lead as they leave the five. Chandra's Law just a length down and settled in second. Charming Beauty in between horses, overtaken by Magical Mood, Old King Cole there on the rail, and the Zion bringing up the rear as they charge away toward the 716th. Possibly four lengths separates the entire bunch of runners. Vanquisher out in front, Chandra's Law pressing. 
Magical mood in a good spot if good enough. Toward the outside, that Zion. Charming beauty moving smoothly in between runners and still in with a chance. It's all King Cole as they're about to come thundering into the top of the lane. They're into it now and approach the final quarter. Chandra's Law is in the center. Magical Mood on the outside has that lead and darts across toward mid-track. Over on the rail, that's Vanquisher. Chandra's Law right alongside here. Now it's Charming Beauty exploding. And Charming Beauty now takes charge. Inside the final furlong, it's a Charming Beauty beginning to drift down to the rail, but begins to open up the lead. Inside the final 16, a Charming Beauty and the apprentice Jordan Barrett come bounding in to win by four or more over Magical Mood. Then Zion, Chandra's Law. Apprentice Jordan Barrett registers his first win of 2023 and gave trainer Patrick Lynch his first win on the day at odds of 9 to 5. The fourth race was a restricted allowance event over 1500 meters. Patrick Fung's champion Michaela was a late scratch, leaving a field of six to do battle over 1500 meters. I think we have a line ready for a start. They're off and racing. Beautiful brand and a military shot. Didn't get away too fast, but beautiful brand coupling up nicely and now goes to its beautiful brand, just the leader from Little Buzz right there, settled in second. Right there in third, that is a military shot. Right beside military shot, that is dancing in the breeze. Four lengths away before we come to hope and perseverance and racing at the back of the field, Pro Johnny. They head toward the five, and it is Beautiful Brand taking them along on a merry chase. So just about two lengths in front of Little Buzz racing in second, right against the rail. That is a Dancing in the Breeze, right beside Dancing in the Breeze. That is a military shot and tailing off badly as they pass the four. That is a Pro Johnny and racing at the back of the field. Hope and a Perseverance. Coming toward the three, Beautiful Brand still in front and bouncing easily on that lead. Hustled up for more, that's Little Buzz. Also coming on now, military shot. Tailing off a bit, that is dancing in the breeze. Hopelessly out of it, that's Pro Johnny and Hope and Perseverance there at the top of the lane. Beautiful brand will have to fight off military shot and military shot now hits the front. It's military shot in front of Beautiful brand right against the rail. Coming out wide on the outside, that is Little Buzz. It's beautiful, it's open, make that military shot. In front at the furlong pole, military shot begins to go away from these. And military shot has this one all won. Military shot under the bustling ride from Roger Hewitt. Military shot wins by maybe double digits. Roger Hewitt was a mere passenger as military shot devastated rivals to win by 17 widening lengths. Race 5 was another optional claiming event. Drakeris was a scratch, reducing the field to nine in this contest over 1,400 meters or seven furlongs. They're off. In the blood. Came off slow with Cola Will. They're running toward the final six furlongs. They leave the six and a half, and He Can Dance goes out on that lead. Colbert racing up with Dodge this link as they go flashing past the six. Two lengths in behind them, we come to the pair of Bold Sammy, Duke of Springs, almost hidden on the outside in the black with the yellow. Garincha the Grey asked to make some progress. Cola Will races up next and In the Blood remains last. They've left the five, they run now toward the half mile and uh, He Can Dance continues to lead them by almost two lengths. Dodge this link in pursuit as they swing into the half mile turn. A gap of some three or four to Duke of Springs on the outside. Bold Sammy right against the rail. Dare to speak and Garincha team up in behind. Cola Will is rather toward the back of, the, of them. Uh, that is Colbert, then Cola Will. And last of all, it's in the blood as they've left the uh, 5 16th and will come thundering into the lane. Dodge this link has now taken charge. He can dance left back two or three lengths and running on the spot at the moment as Dodge this link is opening up. The rider has a peep behind him. On the rail, he can dance. Duke of Springs, now the stick comes out in the left hand, but can they catch this Dodge this link? And devastating Dane Dawkins, they're at the furlong pole and Dodge this link continues to dodge them. He can dance, rallying once again over against the fence. Duke of Springs trying to come on, but Dodge this link is attacked once more by He can dance and He can dance now flashing into the lead it's he can dance coming away teaching them the quick step close at the finish donovan Plummer's entry he can dance ridden by six-time champion jockey omar walker had a length and a half to spare over garincha dodged his link and duke of springs 
It's now time for a break on the Kimano's Highlight Show. On the other side, we'll recap the remaining races on the CAD from Saturday, January 21. This included the day's feature, the Alan E. Billy Williams Trophy. Welcome back to the Kimana's Highlight Show. In the second half of our presentation, we'll recap races 6 to 9. Race 6 was a maiden condition contest over 1,000 meters straight. Spencer Chung's general chief was the hot favorite at odds of 4 to 5. If you play the late pick 4, they're often racing. Rani Bangala gets a good start in the middle, closest to us and running Fast, that is Blue Persuasion. Also there, that's General Chief. Over on the far side, Select Me tacking across, just in front of Salwood. Right there too, that's Rani Bangali. Wildfire is also in the mix, but it is Blue Persuasion and General Chief. Closest to us, that might be where the action is. Rani Bangali, Bangala is also prominent. As they come passing the two for a long point, it is Blue Persuasion on the defense. General Chief right in the middle. Rani Bangala out wide. They're coming to the furlong and a half pole. It is Blue General Chief and Rani Bangala. Blue Persuasion fading out of it. General Chief at the furlong pole. And Rani Bangala, General Chief traveling the better. General Chief begins to come away from Rani Bangala. General Chief. Hustled up and will win by about three lengths. Rani Bangala is second, then comes Select Me. The man they call Action Pack Ryan Lewis staring the favorite home in the rather pedestrian time of one minute, two and four fifths for five free long straight. Rani Bangala, Select Me and Salu completed the top four. The seventh race saw right in flight the mount of Ramon Nepe, backed as the four to five favorite for the mile long contest. They're off, pass the booze, whips around at the start and will take no part. Simba the Lion staggered out and is a long way in behind JJ Warrior who leads the field as they flash past the seven. Little groby thing, some three lengths back and racing in second, rated by the rider. Letters in gold is close enough at this stage and running in third. There goes right in flight to join him. Just toward the outside to cat with the glory and a Simba the Lion brings up the rear as they lead the six. The grey JJ Warrior attempts to steal the show, attempting to go gate to wire, leading up by some six lengths over Little Grovy Thing. Letters in goal continues to wait on the rail, they leave the five. Toward the outside, right in flight, joined by Simba the Lion now recovering and to cat with the glory at the back of the field. They're arriving at the half mile, they go into that turn and JJ Warrior out in front but not so far, the lead now three lengths, Little Groby Thing has sliced into it. Here is right in flight now asked to run on, Simba the Lion making progress, Letters in Gold fading back a bit, second to last, and to Cat with the glory at the back, they lead the three. They're on the way to the 5.16th, JJ Warrior has taken a breather but leads up still by three lengths, Simba the Lion cutting into it, Little Groby Thing in between horses and right in flight out wide but they're into the lane, can they catch a JJ Warrior? The rider now gets busy as they run toward the 316th, and now he changes his hold, and the stick should come out in the left hand. It does. Right in flight, pulling alongside on the outside. On his inside, little groovy thing, and on the rail it is Simba the Lion. But they're inside the final furlong. Four horses across the track. The JJ Warrior now begins to fade. Right in flight, and Simba the Lion now going at it. Little groovy thing in behind them. It's right in flight, and Simba the Lion in our head, Bob. Right in flight, just over Simba the Lion, then Little Groovy Thing JJ Warrior to cat me the glory. At the finish, only a head separated the favorite from second shot Simba the Lion. Little Groovy Thing and JJ Warrior complete the top four. The eighth race on the card was a restricted allowance event over 1400 meters. Jawara Stedman replaces Alan Mirage atop Gary Subrati's Ahmed Ali. They're off and racing. Clean start. Over on the far side, that's Salute the Deputy, vying for that lead. They come toward the six furlong point, and it is Fly Messenger, Fly right against the rail. Right beside him, that's Shadow Fax. 
then comes in third, that is Give Me the Light. Never on a Sunday comes next, then comes Salute the Deputy, Ahmed Ali as a pastor five, a.k.a. Storm and Great Wayne marginally racing at the back of the field. They head toward the four and Shadow Facts goes on about two lengths. It's Shadow Facts in front. Here comes Give Me the Light running on. On the outside, never on a Sunday circling horses and coming on to that Salute the Deputy backing out badly out of it. That is Fly Messenger Fly as they come toward the three. It is Shadow Facts on the outside. Here comes Great Wayne traveling nicely. Also there, that's Give Me the Light. They're coming at the top of the lane and it's Shadow Facts. Great Wayne now comes a calling on the outside. Shadow Facts still in front. Great Wayne is traveling nicely and now joins Shadow Facts. Shadow Facts kicks once again. Great Wayne will have to find something extra. Shadow Facts in front and turning back the challenge of Great Wayne and Shadow Facts looks to be turning back all ch challenges and sundry Shadow Facts begins to sprint away. This could be the second winner for Action Packer and Lewis. Shadow Facts begins to stroll on and Shadow Facts goes on by about eight lengths. Great Wayne is back in second. The 4 to 5 favorite Shadow Fox gave the informed Ryan Lewis his second win of the day, clocking 1 minute 28 and 3 over 7 furlongs. The night and final was the feature on the day, the Alany e. Billy Williams Memorial Trophy. Unruly Boss was an early scratch, reducing the field to 11. Alany e. Billy Williams Memorial Trophy, 7 furlongs. Denzel Miller doing the honors, they're off. Positive ID comes out at the back as they make their way now toward the final six furlongs. Billy Wiz comes away running, gets that lead, Big Big Daddy and Daddy Jones in pursuit, as Eddie the Six, the good witch in the blue, racing out wide of Sweet Majesty running the rail. A gap of some three lengths as they head toward the five to three times lucky race car a length further down. Crimson is taken off the fractions, positive ID moving in between horses. They head cornerstone out wide and Marquesas in the pink just at the back. They're running past the half mile, moving into that turn for home, and uh, Billy Wiz attempts to go gate to wire. Big Big Daddy and the Goodwitch asked to deny him. There goes Sweet Majesty. Daddy Jones has faded back through the field. Race car now revved up for more run. Positive ID is also coming on with the head cornerstone, but Billy Wiz is pushed to hold the lead as they arrive at the 5.16th. The Goodwitch harassing all the while. Watch a Big Big Daddy down against the rail, but they're coming into the lane. Marquesas and the head cornerstone making runs out wide, but they're into it now. Several horses spread right across the course. Marquesas is widest of them all and is traveling powerfully. Marquesas just toward the outside. Sweet Majesty in the center and Sweet Majesty has that lead from Marquesas. Watch Positive ID in the pink cap over on the far side. It's Sweet Majesty. Positive ID and Marquesas in hot pursuit but Sweet Majesty on Paul Francis take the Anani Billy Williams. Sweet Majesty at 29 to 1 comes home a length and a half in front of the rank outsider Marquesas at 99 to 1. Positive ID third, Crimson was fourth. As we recap another thrilling weekend of racing, it was highlighted by that scintillating finish in race number seven between Ride in Flight and Simba the Lion, just ahead separating the two. Well, this has been another edition of the Kimana Spark Highlight Show. I'll see you next time.